The vaccine eligibility footprint is a size bigger today, now expanding from adults and teens down to kids age five. As a parent, you're excited to get these vaccines out. Very much so. My kids have been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it. Megan Markovich has two kids ages six and 10. Neither have been able to be vaccinated until now. They have asked for it. So they are very much aware of what's going on with COVID. She studied the science, not only because she's a mom, but Dr. Megan Markovich is also a pediatrician at St. Elizabeth, her husband, a pediatrician at TriHealth. There are side effects to the vaccine, but is it worth it? Absolutely. Every kid in that age group should be getting the vaccine. St. Elizabeth has already started the 5 to 11 vaccines in pediatricians offices. All of our primary care offices at St. Elizabeth Physicians will have pediatric Pfizer available as um, as early as today, um, but definitely by the end of next week. CVS has also started. Walgreens will begin November 6th. TriHealth will begin November 11th. And Children's Hospital had a huge response as they opened up vaccination appointments beginning today. Many of the clinics, including our own, have received our vaccines already. The state was really um, planning ahead this time and, and saying, hey, even before their approval, let's get things going. As doctor's offices prepare for the expanding vaccination footprint and the next step in the pandemic. Yeah, now they're expecting an early surge of people that have been waiting to get this vaccine, but they expect that to slack off and a lot of other providers will be getting this in the next few days. So it shouldn't be trouble here uh, by at least the middle of next week. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. All right, Brian, thank you.